Welcome crocheters. It's time to talk about making money. Uh, I think that's why we all started our businesses. And so often we get stuck in a rut of um, a lack of profitability and a lack of making money. And sometimes emergencies happen. Things happen in life that cause us to say like, okay, I need a quick influx of cash and how am I going to make that happen? So we're going to talk today about making money out of thin air with your crochet business. So welcome to those who are here live. If you're watching on a replay, be sure to say hello in the comments. Uh, if you're watching live, say hi, let us know that you're here. And um, we're going to hop into making money out of thin air. So uh, I don't know if that phrase means anything to you, but I often say it inside of my program that an entrepreneur's job is to make money out of thin air. It's what we do. It's what we were designed for. It's why we're good at what we do. And I got this concept from one of my coaches who I'm sure got it from somewhere else. So I originally heard it from James Wedmore, um, that your job as an entrepreneur is to make money out of thin air. And I think keeping that in mind is really helpful in uh, when things come up to say and really own and step into that place of like, no, my job is to make money out of thin air. I'm going to figure this out and really empowering yourself to say, okay, what am I going to do? So we're going to talk this morning or this afternoon, whenever you're watching about how to conceptualize this and what to do when things happen and you need to make money. So um, basically, making money out of thin air means creating an offer that your ideal customer wants. So at this point, you're getting creative, things are happening, you're getting creative and saying, what does my ideal customer want? What are they already paying for? Or what are some gaps in the marketplace or gaps in my offer suite that I can fill in with a new offer that I know as soon as I put it out there, people will jump on it and they'll be excited about it. So uh, this is going to be individual to you and your business. If you're a physical product seller, this will look very different than if you're a digital product seller or a service provider, but you can still get creative. We're all creatives, right? And so, you know, taking some time to brainstorm and, um, get some ideas. Sorry, I'm, I clicked on the wrong thing on my computer. Okay, there we go. So getting some ideas uh, about what your ideal customer would want. And ultimately, this is how you run a profitable business is knowing who is your ideal customer and what do they want? What are they spending their money on? And what are they spending money on with you? And how do you create more of those things that are in demand in order to get a cash influx? So if you have been in a position in your business where you are like, oh, I need, I need an influx, right? Put in the comments, what happened? Like, what was it that spurred on this need to create money? So uh, I'll just give some examples in the past. So you might remember I was um, going to launch a year ago in February when my husband had a table saw accident and it ended up costing $22,000 to um, put his hand back together. So it was one of those things that were like, we didn't have an emergency fund with $22,000 in cash sitting there that we could simply pay that hospital bill. So uh, we had to think about, okay, what do I need to do to get a quick um, cash, you know, bring cash into the business so that I can then, um, pay for that bill. So other things might be like last week I had two flat tires. We took the truck in. They said you need four new tires, which is kind of the downside of living on 10 miles of dirt road. We go through tires like crazy. So they said you need good tires. And so that cost $1,600. So that wasn't in the budget. It wasn't something we'd planned for that month. And I didn't want just another payment plan to add on to, you know, other things that we're paying for. So I was like, okay, we need to make some money so that we can pay for this. And so creating an offer to throw out there and get to your customers, bring them really great value, but also bring an influx of money into your business is really important. So let's see some of the things right now, my car needs big repairs. 
um, and my hours at work are cut back. So yes, you need an influx. So paying down my credit card debt and creating some savings. Great. So good. So um, these are some things that can happen in life. So emergencies, just regular bills, um, holidays coming up, those kinds of things will cause the need for you to quickly make money out of thin air. So we're going to talk about some ideas and you can write these down or watch this again uh, to get some of these ideas because you can say, okay, does this fit my business model? What can I create in this category? So I'm going to give you some categories of things that you could create for your customers. Okay. So the first one would be eBooks and guides. Now this can apply to both digital product sellers, um, service providers in particular, but also, um, physical product sellers. So thinking about who's my ideal customer and what do they like? So if your people are fashionistas, you could create a guide to creating a capsule wardrobe and charge $7 for it and just get it out there to the people who are on your list. Or if you sell baby products and you could say um, a guide to nursery safety, right? Or something like that, where you're like, who's my ideal customer? What do they want? And then how could I create a guide for them? If your ideal customer are crocheters, you could create specific stitch guides or um, other sorts of guides or eBooks on, you know, how to get started with crochet, how to get started designing, like whatever it is that your ideal customer um, enjoys and um, fits your business. There you go, right? So get creative about what kind of eBooks or guides could I create for my ideal customer? The next one is discounts and promos. This is usually where your mind might go to as soon as you're like, oh, I need a quick influx, I'll have a sale. Now, sometimes this is not the best option because you don't wanna discount things when you want to make money, not always. Sometimes it works, right? Sometimes I'll just do a sale, this works for my customers, they love it, I'll do a sale, I'll make lots of sales. Um, my Profit margin will be lower because I'm making less money per sale. But if I make a quantity of sales, my ultimate bottom line increases. So um, this is up to you how you want to do this. But you could definitely have a flash sale, market it heavily to your audience, and um, yeah, make some money. So ways that I've done this in my business now, this is not for physical product sellers. But as far as service providers, I've done like a flash sale on Etsy shop reviews. So, hey, I'll do an Etsy shop review. You have to order this in the next 24 hours or the next two hours, right? So in the next two hours, sign up and you get this highly discounted rate, right? And so you get an influx of orders. You have that cash to do with what you want. I'm going to sneeze. I'm sorry. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, <laughs> Oh, sorry. If we were um, not doing this live, I would edit that out, but that's life. Um, okay, so discounts and promotions. Thinking of ways to drive traffic to your shop and increase desire for your things. So that's just another idea of ways that you could get a cash influx. Next is workshops and courses. And this is not just for service providers. It's not just for content creators and information people. Anybody could create a workshop or a course. So your workshop could be, um, we're going to design your nursery in a two hour session. We're going to get together. We're going to look at your colors. We're going to, you know, look at the layout of your room or we're going to design your nursery. And then we're going to, I'm going to point you to some of my nursery products that you can buy to fill your new nursery design, those kinds of things. Right. Um, again, uh, how to put together a capsule wardrobe, how to, um, curate your crocheted garment closet, um, organizational tips. It doesn't have to be just about how to crochet something, but it could be. It could be a, a crochet along. It could be um, a course on how to make a certain product or how to design or how to um, organize your business. It could be anything, right? Going back to who's your ideal customer and what do they want and creating a workshop or a course around that. Um, memberships and bundles. So if you are a designer, 
or a service provider creating a membership or a bundle of products. Um, so you're taking what you already have and you're marketing it in a new way. So your membership could be, um, I just saw today, somebody doing a, um, I think her membership was $10 a month or $50 if they paid for the whole year. And that was recurring. So a lot of people will do their membership, just $25, get all of my patterns. But hers was $50, get all of my patterns. Um, and then um, renew that every year because she's coming out with patterns so frequently that it made it worth it for her customers. So that's something you could do or create your own bundles. If there's a holiday coming up, like you could do right now, you could do um, a bundle of spring patterns, a bundle of Easter patterns, a bundle of Mother's Day patterns, and sell those bundles either as eBooks or um, as a bundle where people can access them anywhere you like. So you could do it on your website. You could do it as a Google Drive that you give access to. You could do it on Thrivecart where they get like Thrivecart Learn on a course program, anything like that. So that's an option as well. Again, get creative about your business. I'm sorry. I, I hope I'm not coming down with something. That would be terrible. Okay. Um, the next would be templates. You might see these all over the place. So there are templates for product tags, templates for um, you know, you're selling cup cozies and you have the little templates to stick in there. Templates for Pinterest pins, templates for what else? Um, Instagram carousels, templates for Instagram nine grids, like all kinds of templates people are creating and selling access to those templates. You could do the same for your business, um, depending on who your target customer is. So templates sell really well because you're saving people time. And in this way, you could market it as, you know, you can always create more money, but you can't create time unless you purchase these um, templates. Because when you purchase templates, you're saving yourself time. So you're buying more time for your life, right? So that could be a marketing strategy. Um, I'm just going to go look at the comments. Design a room in your house, curate your crochet garments, crochet alongs. Oh, thanks so much for um, filling out some of this text here. Um, okay, so next would be workbooks and journals. So if you, again, um, are serving people, you understand what, they're, what they care about and you could create a workbook, quickly create a journal. So I created an like get unstuck journal the other day for um, my folks in my program. And basically it's a journal to walk you through getting unstuck. What are your stuck places? How do you walk through the process of self-coaching and getting unstuck from those things? Super easy. It took me less than a half an hour to create the journal. And then, so I gave it out as a free thing because people are already in my paid program, but you could create these things um, and sell them. So workbooks and journals are always a great idea. The next would be to create free tools that lead to a tripwire. So in this case, you would um, create an opt-in and people would opt into something and it would take them to a highly discounted uh, upsell, right? And so you get a high volume of traffic coming to your free thing or um, accessing your free thing. And then you have your, it's called a tripwire on the back end or your upsell that people could purchase on the back end. So I typically do this with all of my opt-ins just because if someone opts into a particular um, item, you know, you get a sense of, what what else would they like? What would take them deeper into this? So you create the opt-in as like a very simple thing for them to get for free. And then you create a deeper, more um, intensive um, product that they could get on the back end. So um, let's say you're doing a journal. So your opt-in could be five questions to ask when you're stuck right? And then it takes them to the upsell, which would be get get the ex unstuck journal for $7. And it will take you through the entire process of self coaching, right? So it's, they're like, hey, I'm interested in this. And so then you go deeper and you have something to charge for. And that way you could make some money. And then also free trials. If you have a membership or you have 
um, something that you're offering, you could give someone a free trial to that thing in order that they get an idea of what that looks like and what the value is, and then um, charge them on the back end after the free trial ends. So uh, another way to um, create a new offer that gives you an influx of funds. And then finally, consultations or experiences. So like I said before, like crochet alongs are a great way to create an experience where the community comes together, learns a new skill, creates a new product, and gets to know you better. If you're a service provider, that could be a consultation. It could be um, a discount on services. Uh, it could be time to chat with you, right? You could have a sip and stitch that you charge you know, $3 for uh, or something like that. Um, people get experiences with you and those are a great way to um, get an influx of cash. So these are just some quick ideas on getting an influx of cash. So particularly if you're a product seller, it's harder to come up with these ideas, but it's not impossible because again, you're getting into the mind of your ideal customer and saying, what do they want? So you don't have to rely on, oh, I have to book another craft fair in order to make money. And now that's a month down the road. If you need money right now, there are ways provided you have a following, right? You get your email list going, you have a group on social media, you have people following you. Um, it's easy to create a new thing and offer it to them. So it could be even just be a new product, right? So people are already buying your bumblebees, then go ahead and create a dragonfly. People are buying your mushrooms, go ahead and create a truffle. I don't know, like something that goes along with it, right? On the same sort of theme, but different. So you're saying you're already spending money here. Let's take you to the next level and, and have this new offer. Um, all right. So um, some things to remember are your offer must be valuable to your audience. It must be aligned with your business. So if you're like, um, take my glass blowing class, and that has nothing to do with what you're already offering, it's probably not aligned right now. Um, you can go start a different business, but um, and then remember, it needs to be tailored to the right buyer at the right time. If you offer like an Easter bundle right before Christmas, that's probably not going to sell well. So remember to check in, is it the right customer, the right product, the right time? Um, and when you do that, then you have a better odds of bringing in cash um, and making money out of thin air. So I have some ideas for you. Uh, I created this 101 opt-in ideas for handmade sellers. So it has opt-in ideas for both um, physical product sellers and um, digital product sellers. So you can get that for free. And here's the link. I also put the link in the description or in, if you're watching on Facebook, it's in the comments below. Uh, and you could um, get your hands on that by going to that URL. So or clicking the link in the description. Uh, it will take you to 101 opt-in ideas. So a lot of times people get stuck on that first step of what opt-in should I create? Uh, and I think really one of the skills that we need to develop as business owners is the skill of making a decision and taking action. So don't let yourself uh, get stuck saying, I, I don't know what to create. I don't know what my people want. Pick something <laughs> and give it a try and see if it's something that would be interesting to them. Um, because you won't know until you experiment and you put things out there and you see what people are opting into. So I have a whole suite of free offers that I offer, but there's one or two that have tens of thousands of signups, right? And there's other ones that have 100 or 200, 500 signups. So there are, there are things, you know, as you go and you try new things, you'll be able to discern what exactly your um, the people who are following you, what they want, and you can create more of those things along the same line. So it is a little bit of trial and error, but you got to take the um, take the time and have the courage to give it a shot and give it a try. Um, also in the links is, speaking of free things, is our Coachathon, which if you're watching live or you're watching towards the end of March uh, 2024, then this applies to you. We're hosting a 12 hour coachathon on Friday, March 29th 
from 9 a.m. Eastern to 9 p.m. Eastern, which would be 7 a.m. Uh, Mountain Time through 7 p.m. Mountain Time. And sadly, I realized that's Good Friday and maybe you might not be able to come, which makes me sad. Um, so it's not a government holiday here in the U.S., so I wasn't even thinking of some people have that day off or take that day off. So um, we do have an option to upgrade and get the replays. And uh, once you register, you'll get all of that information. So just register. It's free to register. And you'll get on the list to get more information about how to get replays, how to um, get access to replays of the Crochet Business Summit, which is also coming up in just a few weeks, and uh, um, other sorts of ebooks, courses, all kinds of fun things. So uh, go ahead and register using the link below for Coachathon. We have um, several uh, coaches and crochet business owners who are going to come spend some time with me and answer your questions. So I hope you'll join us, send your questions in, join us live and ask questions. And it's going to be a really, really fun time with prizes and business boosting tips and encouragement and um, general fun. So I hope you'll join us. Um, if you don't see a link, it's crochetbusinesssummit.com slash coachathon. So um, C-O-A-C-H-A-T-H-O-N. That's it. Okay. And then next week, we're going to talk about uh, marketing mistakes that crochet business owners make and what to do instead. So basically, it's the next step of this process. You're going to create your offer. You're going to create the offer that's aligned with your audience and aligned with your business. And then we're going to talk about marketing. How do you get the word out about your offer so that people will um, see it, um, buy it, and you'll be making money out of thin air. So um, that is it for today. Um, yes. No, um, Auntie Ray, Auntie Ree, thank you so much for um, typing those into the comments. That's helpful for other people. Um, eventually, it will create um, chapters in this video and people can click on those chapters and get to what they want. Um, but I appreciate you being here for another episode of Crochet Business Chat. And I'll be back again next week to talk about marketing and be sure to register for Coachathon so you don't miss out. And um, we will see you here on the 29th for 12 hours of coaching and fun. All right. I'll see y'all later. Bye.